Hello people, this is Mohit once again with the yet another tutorial on dev tags. What exactly are devs and why do we use them? A dev tag is uh, really just a container. You can think of it as a box, you know, a box which has a specific uh, color, a background color. Uh, it has specific dimensions and it's, it's placed uh, on a specific location on uh, your web page it'll have it may or may not have borders you can specify uh, you know how thick the borders should be etc etc so basically a section on the page which has uh, certain CSS rules attached to uh, it uh, designers like to work with the div tags because they're easier uh, compared to working with tables let's check out another definition here which says uh, dev literally means division and uh, the tag, the div tag is used to divide a web page into different sections. These sections are boxes. First, we generate these boxes and then we attach CSS rules to style these boxes. Right. Let's create a div. I'll say file new. I'm creating a new file. Um, there are so many layouts out here to choose from. I'll, I'll stick to this one. Two column fixed left sidebar. Click on create. Okay. Now, what I want to do really is I want to create a division, a section around this highlighted area so I'll highlight this area which I've done click on insert and say layout objects div tag uh, Dreamweaver understands that I want to wrap my div around the selection I'll say new CSS rule and I'll call it uh, wrapper okay and I'll say OK once again. You notice uh, this dot wrapper entry auto populates here as well as here. I'll say OK once again. There is a div. Let's check the split view. Alright. Div class is equal to wrapper here in the code view. OK. Now let's uh, click on the wrapper once again and uh, let's start defining the rules for dot wrapper background mm, a hash FFC apply notice the changes as I go along next um, I'll give it a border uh, dashed thin a red border uh, let's say a maroon border let's say apply there mm, also need to give it a margin that's creating space outside the box there cool I don't think I need to give it some padding that's fine no, the padding is fine mm, I'll say okay there we have uh, the div you know with the 10 pixels of margin 2 pixels of a red dotted uh, or rather dashed border now there, there are a few more things that I want to change about uh, this particular div that I've created I want the h1 entries uh, you see the format is h1 and I also want the links inside and only inside this specific div to be maroon in color and how do I get to that okay let's uh, click anywhere inside this h1 header and I'll click on the new CSS rule if you notice Dreamweaver uh, understands that I want to uh, define a compound CSS rule okay and here it says this selector name will apply your rule to all h1 elements which are within a wrapper wrapper is within content and content is within container div tags that's cool that's exactly what I want I don't want all h1 elements to be affected but only those h1 elements that are within wrapper let's see what happens if I click on less specific more specific 
So it's okay if I uh, if I say all H one elements that are within wrapper, or even even if it says uh, wrapper is within content and the content is within container, that's that's cool as well. So I'll just say less specific. So I want all H one elements within a wrapper to be affected, not any other H one element. That's cool. I'll say okay, and I'll um, give it a color, which is a hash uh, nine zero zero. Let's say apply. You see the change there? Okay. I need to define yet another compound rule. So I click on the link here and uh, I'll have to redo those steps once again. So new CSS rule and uh, Dreamweaver understands that I wish to make a compound rule. Uh, here it says uh, that this rule will apply to all A elements. A elements are link elements that are within any p elements uh, no 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 that's that's something i don't want so i'll just remove the p p for paragraph so uh, i'm happy if, if if this rule applies to all um, link elements that are within the wrapper so i'll click on less specific twice so all link elements that are within the wrapper class of dev, dev. So that's fine. So I'll say OK, and I'll, I'll again uh, choose uh, the hash 900 color, and I'll say OK. So guys, that's it. I've defined a div, given it a class uh, wrapper. Then uh, I've defined two more uh, compound rules, which have affected the H1 and A elements and turned them red. Uh, the great point here is uh, that if I let's say choose. Uh, this this word which is actually a h2 header and uh, turn it into a h1 header the color wouldn't change so this specific uh, compound rule will affect only h1 elements that are within the the wrapper all right and only those links uh, will be turned red that are within the wrapper um, so guys i hope you really learned something today and enjoyed it as well see you around with more tutorials bye bye